Hey. Fuck. We're playing dark. <laughs> I don't... You guys forced me into this. Um, Who did? I, I didn't want to do this. You got all of you. You're all to blame for this. I had no hand in it. Uh-huh. I thought it, it would be very well-timed because your original dark videos are going up on YouTube right now. Get a little cross-hype going. I need to see if I can... I'm not sure how to... So what we're doing is we're, we're going to check out the DLC if I can figure out how to start it. It'll which no, this isn't. This isn't it. Oh my god! I just quit the, the game. Uh, according to your email, this is the <laughs> FML DLC. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's what they call that. Or is that not official? No, that's that's definitely the official name. Super official. Oh, Demonicon! It's great. What Demonicon? I have no idea. <laughs> it's the ad in the loader, or oh. launcher, whatever. Okay, wh how do we... PowerPoints. Oh, here we go. Cult of the Dead DLC. It's just here at the end. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's, let's start it. I'm gonna switch over wait, to... Can, the wait, can... So wait, what's this game about? about magic, uh, you're a vampire. About I don't know, man. And of course, about undead beings. You're, I'm you're aware well, of Watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay. Rose had mentioned it, and until then I hadn't really thought about it. The book would have a lot to tell about vampires. Maybe it could even tell of a way to revert the transformation. If I wanted that. <laughs> Some cultists and necromancers allegedly owned one of the few copies. Whoa. I was on Look the way dude. to find them. To find that book. Bad man. I really didn't think they would let me have it without a fight. The shit's dark. They were hiding in an old cemetery. <laughs> So cliche. So cliche. Thanks for pointing that out. Obviously, the M17 destruction of their underground facilities. They were just as active and were seeking revenge, just like me. This would get interesting. Uh, so a dumb jerk in the chat says, "Hey guys, thanks for sticking with us for a year. As a reward, here's actual punishment in the form of dark." <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is like the this guy is the uh, least intimidating sounding commander. Just reporting that out. <laughs> oh my god, why I'm hearing Keith, is that you again? Was was me? But we were hearing like the stream. Um that might have that was probably me. I've got some settings all messed up then. You shouldn't be because of this stupid Chrome glitch I've had to open up the chat in Internet Explorer, which <laughs> You don't Ugh. still have Firefox installed? I never installed Firefox Fox on this never? computer, actually. No, this, oh, this is the okay. newer computer, so... Yeah. Are there new powers, Phil? I don't know if these are new or not, but I start with 20 PowerPoints, so we get to start just by, like... Oh, wait, but you don't have the powers that you had at the end of the last game, then? No. You just start That's... with 20 points. Well, I mean, I started at a checkpoint. Theoretically, I guess, if you play through the game straight through, it might just take oh, you into sure. the DLC. Um, let's just get hit points <laughs> up right away. ZTI asks, why are, Why is there military-grade security in, in a cemetery? Is this, like, standard for cemeteries? <laughs> yep. All cemeteries in the dark future have uh, lots of military security. When I used to ride... When I learned to ride my bike in, in the local cemetery... Uh, there was a lot of military checkpoints. <laughs> when was it that you were riding your bike around in the cemetery? I was like six. I okay. was. I was. My aunt was teaching me to ride a bike. Is your aunt a zombie? You can tell us. No, she's a Christian. Oh. <laughs> you know, I feel like that story is how so many coming of age movies would start. Yeah. Like you, you fall off your bike into an open grave, and then a voiceover starts. Uh. <laughs> I fall off my bike into an open grave and watch uh, without a paddle. Hmm. Shadow Kill's a good one to have, probably. I don't know. I barely remember this game. Keith falls into an open grave as a six-year-old and then the voiceover hits. As far back as I can remember, <laughs> I've always wanted to be a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what is as happening? As far back as I can remember, I've always loved Goodfellas. <laughs> That's some I good got another, I got, right. I got, yeah, it's from Goodfellas. I got okay. some, some, I am some Andrew Swan. 
Dre Dre, Andre 3000, Andre West. Uh, he says, okay, good. Read this on stream. I don't know what to say. Shit. And then in all caps, anything is possible. <laughs> I mean, technically, that's not even true. I think he's pretty convinced of it, though, right now. All clear around. Done and done. Oh, God. Oh, so God. he wanted you to how do read. I, how do I... How do I attack? It's been so long. Oh my god. Oh, it's this. A. It's A. You tap A to attack. You hold A to drink. No, I think I got it. Oh. You're dying. You're dying. Oh, well. <laughs> Is there like some half-assed uh, cell shading going on here? Yes. Okay. You are, you are correct in C. Oh my god, no! Did they not give me any of my points? I just spent no. all that time. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> okay. This, so this game looks like it has a lot of powers. Do you know what you're choosing, or do, are you just like... I mean, I kind of, like, vaguely remember from when I played gets, through it the first time. Yeah. Phil takes a lot of the passive powers. Um, I like I a good passive these. power. Me too. I don't have to press a button to use my powers. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's always been my point of view as well. Are you getting 97 frames per second right now? <laughs> uh, yes. It's good. But other pe the people watching can't see that. Okay. That's a shame. Um, I am streaming it out at 90 frames per second, you know, as is Twitch standards. Mm hmm Sure, I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna... S remind me to save as soon as we're out of it. Okay, we're out of it. Sounds good. How many saves per... Okay, you must be playing on easy because <laughs> in, in, yeah, I'm playing on easy for sure. On the harder or normal and hard, it limits is, your saves. That's yeah. Is that the? Did we ever figure out if that was the only real difference? I think so. Yeah. All right. So it's let's. Still terrible. I'm lazy. Wait. So is this a particularly difficult game? Is that one of the things that makes it not good? Uh, I mean, it's a stealth game. It's not. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it's very trial and error. Okay. Um, so limiting your saves is kind of annoying. So they make you a, a, a vampire with all these super cool powers, and then they make you kind of hold back? Yeah. Yes. Dumb. Also, a lot, if I recall, a lot of the like most dramatic fights oh. were just like motion comics and cutscenes. Yes. There's and a like big illustrations. Oh my god, the stop Ken shooting me! Effect. Anyone? Oh. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> <laughs> Related, Thomas in the chat says, Phil using the old reliable Star Trek game strategy. Run up to your opponent as he guns you down. <laughs> God, fuck <laughs> off, Thomas. <laughs> he also it's... says, don't hurt me, Phil. <sighs> oh, shit. Thomas is like the master of saying, like, you're playing this shitty game wrong. Which is like, okay, dude, I don't know. This is a hey, shitty guys, game. I, I have a gift. I have a special anniversary gift. This is my gift to you. You ready? Wait, is it a gif or a gift? It's a gift. Here's a gift <laughs> to you. This is my gift to you. All clear. Uh, it should be. It should be working. Hey. Off. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Hi. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. How do I? Kyle is my my anniversary gift uh, to the stream. Why? That's a hell of a gift. I've got a well. Him. Happy birthday. Hey. Have you do you know about this game, Kyle? Um well that's the thing, Keith. Uh I had ab absolutely no interest in joining the stream uh, wow. the beginning, but I <laughs> I saw that you guys were playing uh my twenty thirteen game of the year Dark <laughs> and I just had to join. <laughs> um so a lot of you you guys um I've been listening to what you've been saying a little bit, but you guys sound like you've been a little misinformed. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. Let's just start over. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep dying. As some of you may know, Dark uh, is a game about a uh, shadow vampire who uh, yep. gains his powers from the uh, evil magic hoodie that he wears. <laughs> I can see um, that on the screen. I mean, as you play through the game, you um. Well, you don't get more hoodies, but it's like you unlock new forms for your hoodie to take on. Does the hoodie ever grow real sleeves? 
Um, there's a long sleeved one. Um, okay. There's one with like a full hood. There's one with sort of like a kind of like a three quarters hood, like a skateboard hoodie, <laughs> so it doesn't cover your perif. Is there one of those ones that you can like zip up all the way and around and it has like a face uh -huh. on it? One's a pullover, thought... one's a fleece. I thought at first <laughs> that in a stealth game it might it might do him a little bit better to roll down his sleeves to make as much of him like <laughs> black as possible, but then I remembered that military agents are not able to see forearms. <laughs> They're literally incapable. <laughs> it's a M. It's a. What was this group's name? This military group. Cobra. It's it's Maybe Cobra's only dark. weakness. Is it really called Cobra? No. Let's say yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worth noting, I, I am getting uh, trading cards for this, so there's that. Great. You're not really in into PDAs? that, are you? I mean, I am now, now that there's creating cards for Dark. For Dark. <laughs> I'm into selling them for 20 cents. You gotta sell them early, because that's when you get, like, everyone right now wants those new Dark DLC trading cards, like, gotta sell them now. Get him. I mean, Come on. could we actually talk about trading cards? Here. Yeah, uh, we've talked about it a lot. But yeah, we can totally I, talk I about it. I probably have. But... <laughs> I don't... I like trading cards, all right. I'm okay with them. Well, you know, since Kyle... Here's the thing. Kyle hasn't ever followed me on Twitter, so he's never got to see one of my rants about Steam <laughs> trading cards. I've seen him. Yeah, well, it's because you follow me because you're a friend. Yeah, oh, oh my god, god there's a buddies. Skype video and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is what that's, we do now. That's fucking hot, man. <laughs> I've, welcome well, to the future. Left no. out. I've been left out because Phil doesn't invite me on streams anymore. So. I oh, literally have not heard anything from you in six months. Because happy you don't anniversary. <laughs> Everyone's happy. This is why you invited Kyle on. Hey, to ruin our everyone anniversary. Everyone wants everyone wants everyone else to ask them out. You just gotta make the first move sometimes. This is accurate. Guys, oh God, why? Listen. We you know it, I know it. A, a stream anniversary off. celebration would be incomplete without me. <laughs> you can't deny this. Listen, I've got enough of this guy in my day to day. Or my week to week, really. This is the so worst. You're dying a lot. What's happening, buddy? <laughs> I, well, I have not played this game in like fucking uh, what at this point? Eight months. So you're rusty. Does the A button saying. do everything in this game? Apparently, <laughs> yes. I I think this the is last... this. They originally made it for iPhone. It's a one button game. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually appropriate because I think the last time I streamed with Phil, he was playing Dark. So no, that can't. No way. I think it was a lot more recent than you think. Wait, what? What are you saying? Dark. I mean, I don't think it was like eight months. I think it was a little less than that. No, it no. was. It was a. Uh, it was like July or something. Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. I don't know how many months. I don't is know. That? We're in. We're in the tail end of January. That's like eight right, months. Six months. <laughs> there you go. Well done. That's like nine months. What is happening right now? We're I was trying to do base, to basic math, there. okay? I was trying to remember. August, September. 30 days has September, April, June, February is 29. 30 months are November. <laughs> right. yeah, Guys, why could you not shoot me or. This looks like a, an XCOM level. Yeah, this is XCOM. Welcome to 30 years of XCOM. This is XCOM enemy without. <laughs> uh. if, could, you, could you guys not sh shoot at me? Kate Kligman says, it's an Ouya launch title. You don't stand a oh. chance. Hey, Later. how about the Ouya? Go get the bastard. So, that's the first time I've heard anyone say the word Ouya in like six months. Yeah, yeah. No, that vomit commercial came out at some point. Like, oh, that commercial right? was the worst. Have we talked about that commercial? Vomit commercial? No. What are you talking about? Oh, oh my did you god! Miss that? I feel really I miss, bad. I don't. I haven't seen like a commercial in a long time. The door was closed. Wait, well, what am I? Luckily, thanks to my special ability, oh. gotta... I can find a way around. There you go. I'm gonna dig this up just for just for. Here we go. I'm gonna put this in chat. Don't watch this if you're in chat and don't want to hate everything. Also, can Keith, you... when you watch it, you should probably mute yourself or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, can I get a play-by-play -play of the commercial, or is it... No, is it... you have to watch it. I have to... Alright, hold on. It's po it's in chat. Jeez, I forgot about the second half of this commercial. Oh my god. It isn't just a vomit commercial. It's... <laughs> 
it's not enough to just be a vomit commercial? No, apparently <laughs> not. Medal of Duty. Just wait. All right, hold on. God, oh God. So this is the DLC that you're playing. Yes. yes. You can tell because so, he's not in a warehouse. So theoretically, <laughs> there's someone out there that played Dark and thought that Dark <laughs> wasn't enough Dark. I mean, I, enough. I'm not convinced that person exists, <laughs> but apparently the people who made this game believe that person exists enough to have made DLC. Either that or they were already doing the DLC like before the game came out and we're just like, well, fuck it. I bet there is some horrible, horrible trash person who really connected to this character, though. So. A horrible trash per Like a person made out of trash? <laughs> no. A person who yeah. lives in trash. Just like call a them a newfie. We know what you mean. Trash oh, God. God. I, are there any redeeming qualities to Dark? The cell shading looks okay. Yeah, I like, I think, yeah, I think visually, like, it's, it a, looks okay. it's a style. Yeah. It did one cool thing, but I can't remember what that is. There was, like, a thing a that I thought... I think also, cool. like, I mean, I think a lot of the powers are interesting. It's just that they're so limited in when you can use them that it's barely mm -hmm. worth it. Mm -hmm. I watched that commercial. Yeah. That wasn't very good. I, no. I do like the way that uh, they portray people that play video games as totally <laughs> irrational and uh, prone to self-harm. Yep. <laughs> Damn, the entrance That's is us. I'm sure I saw him. I'm pretty sure this commercial doesn't exist, and now it's just an elaborate ruse. I linked it in chat. No answer. You guys would just search Ouya Vomit commercial or ad in Google. You'll find it. You know what? There's probably not many vomit commercials. You could just Google vomit commercial. Can you just recap the premise for me? Oh my god. Does, like, do people vomit because they don't have an Ouya? Or... There's a man. It's like a family, and they're all gathered around the Christmas tree. The aristocrats. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made it an alright commercial. <laughs> would it? Maybe. I mean, it would have been at least, like, I don't know, something. Anything. I could, the thing is, I could explain this ad to you, Kyle, and you would think I was lying to you. Hutch University all... says, an actual human watched that and thought, hey, this will sell our system, and published it. <laughs> yep. Alright, Kyle. A man, okay. a man in his underwear on a... a, a a uh, an unhealthy looking man <laughs> in his underwear <laughs> on a couch okay. buys and plays a What's game. What's his t-shirt? Yeah, yeah, a, a stained, disgusting uh, <laughs> a wife beater t-shirt. Okay. Uh, uh, buys a game called Medal of Duty uh, and is dismayed to learn that it is terrible and mm. just like the one last year, and that he spent sixty dollars and like, he can't believe they did it to him again. He could have used it to buy food. And then he starts vomiting all over the place. It fills the room up to his knees. Oh my knees. god, where did these guys come from? He pulls his uh, skeleton out of his throat and bashes himself over the head with it until he is pieces. And until his brain as shows. Man, as a soup man in his own vomit <laughs> proclaims, ooh yeah. Okay, now I was told that I would hear an explanation of the commercial and think that the person telling me the explanation was lying. Uh -huh. And I didn't actually think that that would happen, but now I am legitimately pretty sure that you just made that up. <laughs> no! He was a sequence! That could he basically, was an eye, eyes that could and basically mouth. be the script. It's basically the script. <laughs> okay, I have to go watch this now. Yeah, All do. it's missing is he the notes like, like, man looks dismayed. He was yeah. in a throne in his own vomit. Oh, okay, it's a cartoon. That was the part that was... <laughs> it was pretty bad. Uh, it's not as bad as that Geico commercial. Oh, boy. Wait, which Geico commercial? Pick one. I know, I know that. Spe specifically the one uh, with the... Uh, run, run. The dogs, and then there's, then there's that man holding the dog. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a weird. That's a, they're doing weird stuff over on Geico right now. Yeah, yeah, but that one's real. I mean, also their commercials though. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you just ran into like eight guys with guns. What are you doing, buddy? And I just killed all of them. Yeah, Why? punches. Why so the, has the, Eric Bain not picked up a fucking gun yet? Because he's a vampire. Why would he pick up a gun? Come on. Because people still shoot him and he oh, dies. That, that is true. I don't. That's good. He dies guns. when he runs up to them. If I use guns, I'm just as dark as them. I mean, you're eating them, so... Dark. 
Listen, he's not a bad guy. He just wants to revert his vampirism. I don't think he wants to revert it. I think he wants to stabilize it, if I recall. Oh, thanks Mr. for explaining Hobo that. asks if we remember the PSP commercials with squirrels. Yep, those are the worst. I don't remember those. Are they worse than the vomit ones? Oh, they're up there as far as like animated game ads go. That Ouya yeah, ad has. Those? I don't remember. That Ouya yeah, ad has over seventy-five percent dislikes on YouTube. <laughs> That's it? In a way, that's <laughs> almost impressive. <laughs> that's like anyone who <laughs> anyone who pays attention to likes and dislikes on YouTube videos knows that's almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like how you can teleport, but you can't get through that like garbage pile. I mean, I feel like I'm supposed to, because I don't know where else to go, but... Oh my god, there's... Oh god, there's I some... forgot of his teeth. <laughs> his little teeth. He's gonna look at... Look at you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you know what's face. another weird thing about that, uh, that Ouya commercial? What's that? The, like, so either during the course of him vomiting, the entire color scheme of his apartment changes, uh -huh. or he has time to turn on the lights. <laughs> he has I a think clapper. He does. In the vomit. It's like a bar. Yeah, exactly. Barfer. I just noticed. I never realized that the strings on this guy's hoodie look like belts. Like, like the pull Final strings Fantasy for his thing? hood. They're, they're just oh, like yeah, so that's... thick. Yeah. They're like a little mm. skinny belt for a stylish dress. <laughs> or it's easy access for autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah, could be that. Says, it'd be that. It says a, a lot he's a about... vampire. I don't think <laughs> he... vampires need to breathe anymore, but yes. It, it no, says but a it's lot like about a dark that the hoodie is probably the best part of the game. Yes. I mean, it's a. Listen, I would wear that hoodie. That's very, very fashionable. Lots of zipper. The action. sleeves really aren't. Yeah, Phil. I don't think sleeves. I don't think anyone outside a, a a moderately stylized video game could pull off that hoodie. Yeah, Phil. I know we said this was an anniversary stream, but it's really an intervention stream. Yeah. Yeah. You need to stop trying to wear that hoodie. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Out of all the streams done in the past year, how many of them have actually been interventions? Because it seems like that's come <laughs> up quite often. <laughs> you know, honestly, now that I think about it, uh, I hadn't Probably I hadn't put that together, one. but you know, most of them. Oh, these fuckers! <laughs> Zombie oh, vampires. Every fake interventions equal one real intervention. <laughs> it's like five or six, right? It's one of those like. When, you know, when someone joke insults you, you know deep down it's a real insult at some okay. level. Guys, I have to admit, uh, this isn't uh, a, a joking discussion about how many jokes have been made about streams being interventions. This is actually an intervention <laughs> about making <laughs> jokes about, about streams. Jokes about streams being an intervention. <laughs> you know what? That that's probably fair. I think um, if we're being honest with ourselves, I think we probably deserve that. Yep. And it, it would be it. it would be easy to not take you serious, but I think we should. I think we should listen to what you're trying to say to us right now. Why are you fighting luchadors with guns? I, I don't what know. Time? I've never seen these, these guys are new enemies. So this DLC is pretty great. New enemies. Cultists. No, those are luchadors. <laughs> you know, so you're saying to you don't know which cult for this DLC? Wait, saying what? That that there there was game development that happened like this Apparently. didn't appear out of nowhere. A Apparently, person at this. some point, yep. I don't know. Dark's the only game that could turn luchadors into lucha boars. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Is that one? Is that one in your writing portfolio? <laughs> that... It used to be. I took it out because I was getting too many offers. <laughs> <laughs> you took it out because yeah, it's... dark humor became too uh, too cliche. Yeah, yeah. Everybody like was doing their dark bit, you know. And I'm, I'm almost oh, impressed that there wasn't already a video game secure. called Dark. <laughs> I mean, they had to really like, yeah, they they pushed and found something extra generic. I don't know. Um, you weren't here when we were discussing this a minute ago, Kyle. But uh, before we went on the air with this, I was trying to find Dark in the uh, the Twitch like looking games up thing. Oh, um, and it's just like they're like. 70 games that have yeah. dark as the first word mm -hmm. and then something else so it was just like mm -hmm. nope there's no way that i'm finding this so according to which <laughs> so we're playing dark, dark souls, souls 2. 2 yeah like i would soon have visitors uh, a dumb jerk says that the first 
stream that they watched was Face Noir, uh, which, whew, oh, I'm man. sorry. That was rough. I'm not Didn't that... a dumb jerk just tell us earlier that their first stream was Final Fantasy, or am I mixing that they up? They did. Else? No, that was, <laughs> what, <laughs> was also what the hell is Face Noir. Wow. Oh, boy. Uh, Man. Listen, that's I'm not going to be an easy thing to explain. Too bad. I mean, not the YouTube ad. Yeah. The uh, uh, Ouya ad. I can't even remember the name of the product. <laughs> so the ad really worked? <laughs> yeah. Very I think it was Vomit. I think Vomit and Suicide was the, was the product. <laughs> Honestly, they didn't need to <laughs> sell me on either of those, to be honest. I was already sold. Oh. You know, Phil. What's up? I still have not gone back to Tron Evolution <laughs> since we streamed it. Oh, that was fun. I've been saving that. Was it fun? What? That that wall running thing. You run on the walls and there's like glowing bits. I had some fun with that. It was alright. We streamed that right before a good game stream last year, like the day or two before, right? That I sounds think, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds vaguely correct. It's really not my day. It, like it was right, is right around there. It would be best if no one saw me. Um, you should you should really go back and check out our face to our streams at some point. Don't listen. Don't watch all of them, but maybe There's watch like an there. hour or something. Uh, Kate Kligman's first stream was Crypt Worlds. Which and that's add, the best. Let's talk about Crypt Worlds. Yeah, Crypt Worlds is a highlight. <laughs> let's only ever talk about Crypt Worlds. Of what we've done on this stream, the work we've done on this stream, Crypt Worlds is up there. Yeah, that I've really been virtual. wanting to do a stream of Shadows of the Empire. That game's... well... I wonder things about that game. Right? Like, yeah. is it okay? Is it terrible? No, I Maybe bet it's we terrible. Find out together. It's, I bet that game's um, real bad. It's mostly a fir Kyle, you and I discussed this a little bit. It's mostly a first person shooter, right? Third person. So and it was third person? Yeah, third person. Okay. There there was I thought there was another Star Wars game then on the N sixty four that was first person and basically was just like yeah. Goldeneye but with Star Wars. No, that doesn't sound uh, I don't right. Think that exists. I wish there was. Well, first person good. it's definitely bad. But since it's third, who knows? Yeah, I, I, I bet that game cheese. doesn't. I bet that game does not hold up. Yeah, like very, I, very few N sixty four games do. I, I feel think like Shadows Ooh. of the Empire was one of those games as a kid I where I was like, like this game's so hard, and then like now I'll play it and go, oh no, this game's terrible. Yeah, no, that game's terrible. Like the there are levels in that game that are just the worst third person action adventure stuff. Um, because they expect you to do a lot of platforming with jetpacks and and stuff. Great, right, let's moving. do it. I have a copy. Uh, but That's, it does well, also says have... when you get a jetpack, it was great. He's okay. Yep. Uh, anyway, that game's terrible. <laughs> uh, Gotta go. The, but there are some cool vehicle sections I remember, and like that was that was the stuff that I always replayed. Like I replayed the speeder bike level a bunch. I replayed the like ah. not Millennium Falcon. No, nope, that didn't work. Yeah, I still don't the, like this game. Like Asteroid Bell level. Be best if no one's Dark uh, has not improved with age. I still, I'm still not a fan. Uh, not a the fine one. Chosen Kitty says Jedi Academy was better. Jedi Academy had such a fun bot-based okay. capture the flag game. Jedi Academy was better than M Shadows of the Empire, but it's not like one of the best Star Wars games, guys. Come on. No, it's not. But it was Let's one relax. of the first Xbox Live games. No, that was Jedi Outcast. Uh, no, Jedi Outcast was not Xbox Live. Oh. But it was online for the PC. You're right. Yeah. I remember it, was, oh, I, it, it, it had the ability for bots, though, so you could still make like a 32-player match on the Xbox, but it was all AI. Yeah. I've got an update from Andrew Lee Swan. He says, good, great, I love you all. I want to hug everyone. And that last bit's in all caps. I, I think probably the best thing that Shadows of the Empire did was it somehow probably lead to the creation of Rogue Squadron, which was all that it really needed to do. That game, those games are good. Tovo prefers Outcast to Academy, which is true. That is a Outcast is yeah. Definitely. Academy is whatever. But you could dual wield lightsabers in Academy, which you could not yeah, do. Yeah, so it's Outcast. extra stupid. You're right. No, no, no. You can, have, some... you can have a purple and a red lightsaber, and that's the the best <laughs> way that you can have lightsabers. Is one purple and one red. <laughs> if you can have a lightsaber, pick that oh, way. Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait. No, I have uh, one thing in Shadows of the Empire's favor. Uh, the main character is named Dash Rendar. That's a pretty good Star Wars name. <laughs> Rendar is, is like the, the Star, Star Wars, Wars name. name. 
that was also like a trans media property from before that was a thing that happened. Uh, like there was a comic, there was a novel, there sure, was a yeah. game. And that you know wasn't I, a thing that we were doing at the time until past that. Gotcha. I finally, I like 40 minutes into this, I finally drank someone's blood. Oh, vampires. Nice. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I will forever I, carry a torch for uh, Dark, Dark Forces 2. That was like one of the first games that I ever played as a kid. And I still think it's great. I mean, Dark Forces 2 is, yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's I feel like that's pretty I, widely accepted as, like, a good game. Mm -hmm. I was actually just playing Dark Forces 1 for the PS1, like, yesterday. And I didn't notice until just then that there's, like, all these kinds of, like, connections between the Star Wars games and, like, their weird, like, canonical side fiction stuff. Like, Can Battle I ask you Front? an important question about your life? What are you doing? Why exactly. were you playing Dark Forces 1 yesterday on the PS1? Where are you? Okay, because I was feeling down, uh -huh. and I was feeling in the mood to play a PlayStation 1 classic on my PS3, and so uh -huh. I went on the PSN store, and I downloaded Spyro the Dragon, Star Wars Dark Forces, Ark the Lad, and uh, Castlevania Chronicles all at once. Those Buddy, are all are good you, games. Are you okay? How you doing? I, I I was okay once I started playing Spyro and Dark Forces. Then I was a okay. Why didn't you just play Skylanders, the newest in the Spyro series? Oh, kind of. <laughs> Spyro was actually fun. I had I had a lot of fun with that game. Was uh, there a voice actor that that was famous? Uh, Elijah Wood played Spyro in like the fourth Spyro game. Or <laughs> Not the first one. Elijah Wood no. has been in some really weird choices. Yeah. Uh, like I just I just uh, today watched the first three seasons of uh, Children's Hospital, and uh, uh, he is like the vo what? calm person. Oh, did you? It's a, you cut out. <laughs> but you cut out in a way that made it sound like maybe you're a secret robot person. It sounded like he said the void calm person and something yeah. super interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the hospital oh like intercom person, and he does like the announcements for the hospital. It's very weird. He's gonna be like, uh, it's very funny. But Pebbles, Pebbles, thirty six sixty three says, "Welp, as of now, it's the start of my birthday, and I am watching a stream of dark." Yep. <laughs> so that's two people who have actual birthdays in the stream yep. right Happy now. Happy birthday to you. We'll get, we'll get really soon. <laughs> no, that's actually true. Yeah, that this yeah. we we will get a copyright strike against this video. Yep, we don't want that happening. Our lucrative YouTube channel will be shut down. Who who owns the copyright to that song? Two people. They're sisters. Yeah, I think they're sisters. That's what Sports Night taught me. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Do you think that in like ten or fifteen years there are going to be people? Having a conversation about how dark was a formative gaming experience of their adolescence. What? No, no. Like, what? and at yeah. the time, they, no, at the time they thought it was just hard, and then they went back, and it was actually just bad. No. Mm. Dark. No. Dark doesn't have the. It's not like a. It's not a Star Wars game. It's not. Yeah. No, but I mean, it's it's not a game that anybody would buy. There's gotta be some. <laughs> you can just stop there. <laughs> there's gotta be some teenage doof. Who had a Steam, you know, some some Steam wallet allowance, whatever, because he had cool I, I, parents. I, I don't know. And don't he know. picked up Dark because of cool hoodies and and Gerald. Oh my God, this I like the vampires. You know what? I'll I'll tell you exactly why it would never happen. Is because the whole reason that happens is because kids have no money and can only get a certain number of games. So the ones they have, they have to play all the time, including the bad ones. Nowadays, kids will just play all the really good free-to-play games and ignore the shitty mm. games that they have. Well, that's but that's Kyle, not a bad you point. Worked at, yeah, that's kind of a good point. You worked at GameStop. How many times were moms buying their kids, like, the worst possible game? <laughs> it would happen pretty often. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I want to play this anymore. Pants, oh, pants on fire. Thank God. You have to, you're at You're 1 a.m. So that's technically. Time that is true. It is. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are cool with me switching, mm -hmm. I would love yeah, to never play this game ever <laughs> again in my whole fucking life. I would Wait, love to never. Watch this like getting the hang of it and kind of getting to a groove. No, I think it's you're, still saving, you're saving someone's life because Pants on Fire has been playing a game wherein uh, every time you die, Phil takes it or he takes a shot. Oh, so Jesus, uh, yeah, we would better quit now. Call an it's ambulance. Exactly responsible. 
The oh, only- goodness. wait, is your checkpoint spawning in front of two enemies? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saved there, so it's where <laughs> I should. Okay, one second, but I, what if I can make- look, can I make a case for continuing to play Dark? Jesus Christ. No. Yeah, what do you want- what do you want to say? You want that Are guy you... to die? Wait, what guy? Was there a guy? The guy who's doing drinking. Just- just wait, say this... thing, what? I can't- I can't say it, because it doesn't- because it's gone, it's not on Steam anymore. Is Dark not on Steam anymore? I oh well, I was looking for it. it. What are you, you talking about? Dark, the dark the game? trailer, and the dark trailer links you to the game page. You okay, I was gonna. Way. <laughs> I was going to start reading positive reviews of the game Dark from Steam. from Steam user reviews. Actually, yeah. Okay, go on. Uh, things I have to dig for. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna kill this person who's taking shots. But go on. Yep. Uh, Second, the trailer for this game has the worst Euro beat I've ever heard in my life. Yep. You know what? Um, I'm just gonna start playing one. Dark Force. <laughs> Don't get high expectations. It's made by a small 19 person team and it shows animation, voicing, writing, it's all subpar. That being said, it is pretty fun and hard gameplay wise. Two, it is not an RPG. It has small RPG elements, but it's more action slash third person stealth fighter. Three, stealth don't get fighter. Yeah. This is a user um, review for Dark that you're reading? Yes. Please, if you do get it, just play longer than Chapter 2. I see so many people saying the game sucks and only making it through or to Chapter 2. If you're going to knock a game, at least beat it. This is a troll just trying to get people to play past Chapter 2. <laughs> there are lots of reviews for this game, you guys. Oh, oh I found a good one. Please. This game gets bashed mainly because the company doesn't have fanboys. Game has ex outstanding visuals, oh great God. core concept focused around <laughs> stealth, and more. Don't believe the negatives. Most are upset that it's not another Call of Duty or God of War. Oh boy, that's My definitely version. true. That is what I, I wanted this to be. I was another mostly Call of Duty disappointed that it's not Medal of Duty. <laughs> Hang on. My my version has outstanding AI. Maybe the critics just don't have the rigs to handle this beast. <laughs> 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 Specifically. <laughs> this is from okay. Bean Snob. Oh my I, found, God. I found a really good one. It's uh one person found this review helpful. It's point six hours on record. Smiley face. You know, I, I have been He's thinking gone. that I should probably Sorry, upgrade fine. the memory in my PC so that my games can have better AI, because that's really <laughs> a problem for me right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, after playing a small time of this, I can say it feels like Vampire the Masquerade, but with Max Payne 1 talking over the character. <laughs> it's good to see old-style Max Payne mixed with Vampire the Masquerade together. It's great. <sighs> yeah, this is a lot like Max Payne. Max Payne wears a stupid leather jacket, this guy wears a stupid black hoodie, they're basically the same game. Recommended, 1.9 hours on record. I don't normally like these types of games, but it's really good. You're this guy called Eric, if I remember, and he got turned into <laughs> a vampire. If I remember! <laughs> and he I like remember that. Thing. All I know so far, it kind of works like Mass Effect. The talks are long, oh and it God. also gives you a choice of what to ask or say. Overall, the gameplay makes up for it, 9.5 out of 10. One point or zero point nine hours on record. It kind of plays like Mass Effect. The talks are long, long talks. <laughs> long I, talks. JPEG. User reviews really give a frightening window into what like the average person thinks while playing video games. Dark. What can I say about Dark? Possibly the most annoying. <laughs> and enticing stealth gameplay I've played since Deus Ex. Make of that what you will. Enticing. I feel like a rule should be, if any, whenever you see a review that starts with asking what they should say, you should just stop, because <laughs> if they don't know, don't even bother. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that's a, that's, a thing, that's a thing that happens in professional reviews, too, that's yep. also annoying there. there mm -hmm. Where it's like, a, almost any time there's a question in a professional review, it's like, why ask that question? Just say what you're going to say. Yep. Yeah. If you are it, going to say like, something, just say it. It's like okay. when people say, uh, like, it's in my opinion, game, blank. It's... It. Yeah, like, of course it's your opinion. We know it's it, your that's, opinion. You're writing yeah. it. Yeah. A lot of these positive reviews are, like, barely positive. <laughs> I know. I'm skipping those. those I, I found funny. another one. Please. Um, for the record, I'm on Metacritic. So. Oh. <laughs> Didn't it's rate my sister. Two stars. <laughs> It's an honest game with great ideas and some flaws. At first, I was stuck in the club because I didn't know what to do, but it is fun. When it starts at the outside area of the museum... That, that club is fun with the one song that plays over and over. <laughs> when it starts at the outside area of a museum, you get yourself remembered of the great game Dishonored by having access to the magic teleportation power to wipe out enemies in a split second. I liked it. 
you get yourself remembered of. Okay, so this is by far one of the best games that I have played based on assassination. You can play the vampire and use all these really cool abilities. My only negative is I find you were still kind of restricted with some abilities, like not being able to ghost downstairs only along a corridor. I really want to ghost downstairs, you guys. The best game based on assassination. <laughs> yep. <laughs> This is, this is a pretty far- fun. If, yeah, go ahead. If you like stealth game, then this game, just for you, you won't regret. It's not Van Best AI. I like level design, but it's not Van Best level design, but how cares? <laughs> 7 out of 10. <laughs> noobs say horrible game. Horrible game, says noobs. The lack of <laughs> quick saves makes this very annoying on normal or hard. All the COD kids out there should just go for easy. Then game becomes <sighs> fun. Oh, and a tip. If you alarm the opponents, just reload the last save. Eric is a vampire, but not Chuck Norris. He simply isn't meant to melee a dozen of mercenaries shooting at him. A dozen I have to say, at this point, I think I've developed, like, a physical revulsion <laughs> to when people defend games by saying that the people that hate it must just be Call of Duty fans. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's really frustrating and annoying. <laughs> or even, yeah, not even problem. that, like, even just the, the, the implication of that, which is... Uh, some, some people just say it outright, which is, uh, if you don't like this game, it's just because you want like you only like easy games, or it's too hard yeah. for you, and it's like, no, I'm like it could be about more than the difficulty. Yeah, like just because this like, is a hard game doesn't mean that I don't like it only because it's a hard game, or that I don't like that hard people games. People are still talking about Dark Souls all the time, yeah. even still now, and and that's like a super hard game. Well, I mean, but that's for um, noob casuals, right? Yes. Right. Or... How do I? Uh, I'm supposed jail, to go down Batman. here. <laughs> what a, little, a little thing here. Uh, most of it's very boring, but there's a couple highlights. Um, it never crashed, never had poor frame <laughs> rates, and I found it thoroughly enjoyable. It, um, it is a, 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 a computer software that will run. <laughs> okay, so... Hang um, on, hang on. Okay, they also said, also, one more note about checkpoints in general. I hate them. However, they give you two freebie anytime saves that you can use between those checkpoints. <laughs> Points. Don't be silly, but when you use them, and you'll get the hang of it, that's so nice of them to give you two freebie anytime saves between those checkpoints. Yeah, actually, that, that the that's calls? the reason that I um, that I switched over to uh, AT&T from Verizon, is they were offering two freebie <laughs> anytime, saves. anytime saves. Yeah, <laughs> that was really helpful for me. <laughs> um, so this one says, I don't care what anyone has to say about this game, it's challenging <laughs> and fun. The only games better than this, in my opinion, for vampires are Legacy of Kane series, and not a single person can beat. But he only played one point four hours of it. Of it, he doesn't care what anyone says about the game. But he still wrote a review because he thought other people might. Yeah, but it's so. But he he's talking about how great it is and how there's only one better vampire game, but only has played the game for less than one and a half hours. <laughs> If you like uh, both challenging and stealth attributes well, with a bit of vampire, welcome to the world of dark. I recommend this game to all people who have a lot of patience and don't mind seeing some serious supernatural vampire stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna read it, but there's a person that wrote like a full page and a half yep. review of it. Uh, you know, with 27 I, I, hours played. Oh, oh wow. There's someone yeah. with 60 hours played who's recommended would, this game. I was gonna say I figured it out. The people that dislike Dark, they're not Call of Duty fanboys. They're actually uh, Twilight fans, and they just can't handle <laughs> serious vampires. No, someone said it's kind of like Twilight the game. Smiley face, loved it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we gave it our fair shot. I want to shout out to John Nugent who suggested to me via via chat message that we look at reviews. Uh, so so good call. Yeah, that was a very good call. Um, should we stop now? I'm making I'm making serious pro. Never mind. <laughs> um, all right, we're. Just use your freebie <laughs> saves when you're doing. <laughs> we're going to do any time. Like you idiot, just use your freebie saves. <laughs> we're gonna we're going to switch to another game. I'm gonna stop the stream quick and uh, update everything. And when we announce our next game, you do of them. Yeah, I guess I guess we should. Uh, what are we doing next? I don't. I need to go look. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're doing a. Uh, <laughs> a casino oh, right. sim called uh, Vegas Make It Big. So oh, I hope the game has any time saves. I really <laughs> hope it's <laughs> free. If you guys have uh, ever wanted to know uh, how Austin and I would run Vegas, 
<laughs> which I'm sure you have. Uh, Wait, is it, are you saying that. Vegas wrong on purpose? Or? Wait, is he saying Vegas the way I say Vegas wrong? What am Do I, I say Bagel what, wrong? What am I saying? You, okay, uh, so you're definitely saying Vegas, and it's definitely Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff you're doing does the, the same thing. Who, who, what, who fuck? Yeah, I, I, there's literally, uh, for as much as I make fun of Janine for signing right, Canadian events, there's literally nothing I could care about less than <laughs> than fucking petty like pronunciation no, no, no. issues. It's not, I, I'm not making fun. No. I'm just saying I thought that the game was called like Vegas. V E G A S. I don't believe it. I finally understand this thing that I've been mispronouncing wrong for like two decades. When I was in college, my friends used to make fun of me for saying bagel instead of saying bagel. And I only just now understand the difference between that because of this conversation. The difference between Vegas and Vegas. <laughs> guys. I don't believe it. Guys. This is huge for me as a, as a person. I think the point of everything is we That's need to, here to help you. We need to make it big. And we're going to in just a minute. We'll be back. Uh, we're going to take a quick like bathroom break and stuff. So we'll probably be like uh, like three minutes or something. Um, talk to Vegas. you guys soon. You guys, it, it's like Doom, but it has stormtroopers in it. So <laughs> Vegas, Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> 